Well, hello, y'all. This is the Cletus Yellen Show. I'm Cletus Yellen, your host, and today we have another good one for you. Today we're going to be talking about the Bible, the Constitution, and Congress people who want to be controversial. So, let's get into it. We have a newly elected Missouri councilwoman. She, uh... One, because the seat that she took, I guess, was vacated from a man named Steve Stanger. As if you don't know about this man, he was recently charged with a crime and he's getting ready to spend some time in the pokey. So anyway, old Steve was a Democrat and he was replaced by this woman named uh, Kelly Dunaway. She was worked on the Obama campaign, I guess. She she set for Obama or something like that. The yes we can. So she was elected Missouri council member and she swore in on a Dr. Seuss book instead of a Bible. That's right, people. We have now our Congress people have come to the point that they're swearing on kids' books. It's absolutely insane. So we're going to get into some of the reaction and read some of these uh, responses on social media. So if you look here at the first one, you'll see this is a from an atheist man. I don't know. I can't remember what his screen name was on Twitter, but he made a little coy. If he, I guess he recited a Dr. Seuss book and says, if you have brains in your head, you have feet on your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose, even if it's steering yourself to look like a simple-minded fool. Yeah, folks, she went there. So anyway, he was congratulating her, but not everyone was so happy. We have Godiva Rides, and she says... Democrats continue to ignore and diminish the rule of law by making a joke of government roles, which is how their districts are run in Chicago, Baltimore, and San Francisco. Well, Miss Godiva, I wish you'd have did more of a rhyme because there's some people on here that's got some pretty good rhymes. Maybe the next time you can come up with one is more rhymy. But Regardless of what you said, you left out L.A. and New York City in your hashtag, and they're just as dysfunctional as the other three, so I would have went ahead and added those two. And then you got Karen here. Karen writes, This is sad on several levels. Children involved. A majority of the people actually elected her. And number three, she is lost. Well, I will agree with that. The children part really bothered me. It showed her. It should have been a proud moment for her. I'll give her that. But her boy looks like he just, it looks like he's uh, in a bind. He looks scared to death. I mean, that's the way old Jethro looks sometimes in the morning when he's getting ready to pass one. Gives you that weird look like, uh uh-oh, what is this going on here? What are we doing? So anyway, we have A1WSA. You should be run out of town by a big bird. That is something I can get behind. That was real coy. That was pretty sharp. And it's the truth. That woman should be over in Disney World somewhere. She should not be representing anybody. And we have William that just simply responded pathetic. Well, we know how William feels. And again, folks, I'm going to throw this picture up here of her and her children, and her swearing on Dr. Seuss' book. You can see that she looks happy. The boy looks scared to death. The man over on the left looks angry as hell. And the woman in front of her is probably just laughing at her. And then we're getting into some Facebook folks here. We got Jason Carp, probably related to a carp, old fish head he's got there. All the more reason I've chosen early on not to live by the Bible. The less bloodshed, the better. And in responded to that, we have Jake, which apparently is an anti-Semitic. Those Jews were trouble. Okay, Jake. And then we got the rogue medic. Now this guy is something else. You know what? He should have wrote a kid's book. The Christian nationalist with her nationalist feet, ice cold in snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? This guy 
he spent some time on this one. I'm not even going to read it because it's too silly. You know, he's criticizing a good book, and that's fine. He has that right. But it's just a stupid, it's stupid comments. It's just attacking people. The rogue medic. I would hate to have him fix me up. Anyone called the rogue medic and thinking about like he does. I wouldn't want him working on me. And then we got Mac Giacomi. This guy is ready to off anyone who doesn't believe like him. Put him on the red flag list, people. I would, if elected to office, insist on taking the oath of office on a copy of the Constitution, which I've already sworn to defend against his domestic enemies. Either he was ex, uh, he's probably ex military, maybe. So we, we have a few of those, Fort Hood stuff, you know. Anyway, the domestic enemies of our secular constitution are evangelicals, Southern Baptists, nasties. I guess that's the free speech folks. I guess the people that talk bad, they're called nasties to him. Neo Nazis, KKK, Confederates, and Neo Confederates. I can get behind, uh, the KKK, the Nazis, and all that stuff, but to lump in Christians in there and people that are just nasty when they talk, nah, I don't. I, I think that's just a little bit of a bridge too far for me. Anyway, I guess he's going to defend against those domestic enemies and take us all out. Isn't that right, Mr. Majokum? Well, I can tell you right now, partner, you surely don't want to come down here where we live, down here to Cletusville, because it would not be a good thing for you. It would be horrible. We are so glad you're probably somewhere in L.A. or New York City. That's a good reason why they don't give any of that stuff to you guys out there. they got to protect all of us. Red flag you. Yeah, and Ro Baxter writes, you got to understand she was not trying to get too far out in front of her constituents on this one. Then Matt writes, yeah, the good delusion might be a bridge too far. The God delusion. I'm sorry. Cletus is having a hard day today. Anyway, anywho, anywho, I can tell you right now, I've been out there to Missouri, and I, she's a little bit too far out there for most of the people that live in Missouri. I can tell you that right now. I can't even believe she got elected, and I bet those people who elected her are probably scratching her head that they even elected her now that they're looking at her swearing an oath on a Dr. Seuss book. I mean, who does that, people? That's something you read to your kids at night. You don't swear upon a Dr. Seuss book. This stuff is crazy. We're getting so far out there on all political sides. It's insane, people. We got a bunch of simpletons running the country. I think old Cletus' dog Jethro and his brother Earl can do a better job than what half these people are doing in Washington. And they're supposed to be educated. I mean, what have we got? I just can't, I can't listen any more of it. I'm going to have to shut her down tonight. And I'll get started again tomorrow with some other crazy thing on the news. Anyway, I got to go now. I got to go feed my dogs and feed the chickens. If you like this video, please give me a thumb smash and come and visit me on YouTube. Subscribe if you can. If you can't, I understand. Some of yous are too busy to old visit old Cletus. But I appreciate you listening, and I guess I'll get back with you tomorrow or the next day on another video. You guys have a good day. Talk to you later.